So this is me. Uh, I work for Speech Pro. My goal here today is to introduce you to the company and show you our multimodal authentication biometric system. Uh, explain a little bit to you about how to measure these systems. And at the end, uh, show you how you can sign up to get a demo of this if you'd like to take it home and run it on your systems. How many here have seen the Gartner hype cycle? Know what that is? It's an interesting concept. They've been doing this for, golly, about 10 years now, where in the beginning they talk about how brand new technologies are just in R&D, and then over time they, you know, hit the peak of, wow, this is great, and then reality uh, sets in, and you hit the trough of disillusionment, and then eventually this technology is, uh, becomes commonplace. And uh, this was for 2013. Um, biometric authentication technologies were then put in, up, coming up into the slope of enlightenment. Um, 2014, it wasn't even on the hype cycle anymore. Um, this guy says that in, uh, by 2020, we won't even have passwords anymore. For, or it, we won't be using passwords much anymore. That, in fact, when you want to interact with a financial application, you'll, you'll have some kind of a biometric method to do it. And the reason for that is that passwords suck, as we all know. Um, the, this was a, a survey done by Speech Technology Magazine a couple of years ago. Um, I've been a speech application developer all my life uh, since the last century. My last gig was at Morgan Stanley building speech applications. Um, and um, I forget my passwords all the time. And I have um, probably more than 40. Um, now the drivers for the proliferation of these technologies, um, there's really one, the increase in hacking, but the government is now requiring financial services institutions to implement two-factor authentication. The FFIEC uh, is one of the regulators of financial institutions and they have told them that for these kinds of transactions, you have to have two-factor authentication. So I know from having seen been within one of those institutions what the drivers are, and this is why we went to implement um, these technologies. And in fact, they're, these are all announced um, uh, production um, applications of biometrics and financial services. So it's, it's, it's out of the trough of dissolution, and then it's up into, into the real world. Um, Speech Pro, um, is headquartered in St. Petersburg, Russia. Um, it was established in 1990 uh, by some ex-KGB guys, uh, frankly, who were specialists in audio processing and forensics. Um, there's 350 people over there, um, a lot of scientists and developers, a lot of PhDs. The technologies these are the technologies that they provide. They're sort of like the Nuance and the NICE and the Lincoln Labs rolled together of Russia. And as I learned more and more about this company, I was more and more impressed having been on, actually the first company I worked for out of grad school was a speech recognition uh, company. They provide speaker recognition, so text dependent and text independent and one-to-one -one matching and one-to-end matching. Uh, they have very large-scale multi-channel recording systems uh, throughout um, Russia and, and um, the former Soviet bloc, if you will. Um, they build miniature recording devices. They have forensic audio software. If you are a private investigator or in law enforcement or expert witness, uh, you have our software. Um, they have speech recognition and text-to-speech and speech analytics. Um, and it's very, very good technology. In 2014, uh, the National Institute of Standards and Technology um, had a voice biometric challenge, and the guys from Speech Technology Center had three entries, and they took first, second, and third place. So the application I'm going to talk about today um, is something that we um, deployed at Wells Fargo. 
and it's called Voice Key One Pass. Um, the way that it works is you place your face in the frame of the camera. Um, once you're centered, we prompt you with a randomized five-digit string, and if you pass, you're in. Um, Wells Fargo is using this for their CEO application, which is a wholesale banking app. So their users of this application are corporate treasurers, chief financial officers, who are approving very large sums of money, wire transfers of millions of dollars. And previously, they were required to carry around an RSA token uh, to interact with this application to authenticate themselves. And these guys um, often have relationships with maybe a dozen banks, so that meant that they had to carry around a big sack of RSA tokens. Um, and if all of, how many here have actually used an RSA token to authenticate yourself through a VPN? Yeah, well, it's a pain. And if you have a stack of them and you've had a couple of beers, it, 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 you know, it sucks. And uh, this was actually a chief complaint by these users that the authentication technique tech requirements were just bad. And so that's when they came to us and they worked to, um, to build this, to take our technology and embed it as the front end to authenticate users into this application. And um, it won this award from Global Finance Magazine last year for um, being an innovation. I'm going to show you here a demo of the authentication. This is me doing it. I put my face in the screen. I say this number sequence. I'm in. So that's a lot faster than you know finding the right RSA token, finding the right screen to log into, typing in the right numbers, ending in a username. Well, especially if it had a few beers. And... So this is uh, voice authentication and face recognition and liveness detection uh, happening all at the same time. And the liveness detection uses two things. One is it's watching your lips move as you talk. And if your lips are not moving the right way, according to the way that you're speaking, you'll fail the liveness detection. And of course, you're also being prompted by a random digit string so this foils a replay attack. So if somebody just took a movie of you doing this before and tried to replay it, it wouldn't work. And this is sort of a model of how we synchronize the lip movements with the, what you're saying. Now all of these things are fused together. You've got the face, the voice, the liveness detection of the image, and then of course that you had to say the right five digit string. And liveness detection is very important as any of you recognize what this is? This is from Diamonds Are Forever in 1971, James Bond flick. And how many of you remember the Chaos Computer Club video of the gummy bear attack on the iTouch? Within five hours of the, of the 5C iPhone being sold, these guys published a video of how to hack it with gummy bears, uh, glue, and a heat source. I mean, it's, it's better than nothing. It's better than a password. <laughs> I won't go through the enrollment um, process because um, I'm going to run out of time if I do. But you are prompted to sit. Well, let me try it. Let me see if I can do this. To enroll, you put your face. We're going to say the digit string 0 through 9 uh, three times. So. Zero through nine, plus up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time it. it. Takes about forty seconds. Do it again. This time, nine through zero. Third time, it's a randomized sequence. Yeah, forty seconds. So this is, uh, how many of you have seen a receiver operating characteristic curve? Uh, this is how you measure the performance of these things. And on uh, this axis over here is a false acceptance rate. So this is imposters who were let in. And on this axis, 
on the y-axis is the false rejection rate, which is true users being not allowed in. Does anybody know what the false reject rate is for passwords? Anybody want to guess? I'm told that 15% to 20% of US IT budgets are spent on the false reject rate of passwords. So, and having you know, worked in like seeing the amount of time that contact center agents spend helping people reset their passwords. I believe that's actually true. Now, the voice is the blue line, so just voice alone is that performance, and red is the face performance, and the black is the performance of both voice and face put together. Now, if you set the threshold so that equal, so that the false rejects equal the false accepts. That's called the equal error rate, and that's a standard measurement of a biometric device. Somebody says, what's your equal error rate? Uh, the equal error rate here for the bimodal biometric, both face and voice put together, is 0.2%. Now, if you had an application that required a higher security, you could set the false accept rate to be much lower, say 0.01%, and then the false reject rate would be about 1%. Or we have another client who has a much lower risk profile. They're only authenticating the transactions, say 100 bucks, 200 bucks. They'll operate over here, right? They'll set the false acceptance rate, say, around here and get a, you know, a false, they'll get a false reject of 0.1% and maybe a false accept of five. So it really depends upon the nature of the risk of the application that you're trying to deploy of where you decide to operate in this. Now I said, this, this uh, graph is from a year and a half ago. We have a new technology that we're deploying now that actually improves the performance significantly. I'm told that our current equal error rate for the bimodal is about 0.15%. And uh, we can see this here from, uh, we also sell just text independent uh, speaker recognition technology, which is used in a contact center type environment where a caller is just talking to an agent and we can build a model of the caller just talking to an agent in real time. It takes about 30, 40 seconds of agent speech. So. Here, we can get an equal error rate of 1% on text independent. Um, here's a picture of the integration library for iOS. So we, we have this under iOS or Android. If you want to send me your um, email address, we'll get in contact and I'll give you the information about how you can go ahead and, and, and download this. Um, this is the, the API, it's um, pretty straight ahead, and our iOS developer is here, it's backstage, so if you have any specific questions or more detailed questions that you'd like to ask um, him, you can come up afterwards and we can have a chat and we're, we have a booth out there. This is the REST API overview, it's pretty simple, there's an enrollment step, uh, where you create a user, you add the biometric data, and then verification uh, calls that you can do. So again, um, the demos are available if you send me an email. Um, and if you can get the demo and you can demonstrate repeatedly to us how you hack it, we'll give you a thousand bucks. And so Speech Pro is uh, a leader in speech and speaker recognition. Uh, we have biometric face and voice authentication and identification. So we actually sell uh, uh, countrywide national systems that people like Mexico and Peru use to monitor thousands of phone ch channels simultaneously to find people. Um, noise cancellation, multi-channel recording, small handheld digital signals, and uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>